Hello, guys. I know it's always live before I realize that it is, right? Get over here to my channel so I can say hello, hello, hello. Takes me a second. Well, look. Oh, we don't want to do that. And we don't need that echo, echo, echo. <laughs> All right. So how are you guys tonight? I am, I think, alive. Put myself over to live chat. Put where I can see the camera. <sighs> I can breathe. I still have a little bit of frog, but I can breathe. Um, finally tested negative for COVID last Thursday. Um, before I did that little live I did then. And uh, waiting on Wayne to get home, tech support. He started his new job today. And I didn't get a first day of school picture. So I'm waiting on him to get home. He's called me a couple times. So I kind of know how it went. And uh, he got his new laptop. They already put him to work on doing continuing education stuff that needs to be done um, so that he knows how he's supposed to comply <coughs> with rules. And uh, of course it poured rain tonight. So when he was leaving work, it was pouring over there and it was storming over here. And I don't know what to do with myself today. <laughs> I'm so used to having him at home, right? Uh, for three years, we've been together 24 seven and uh, weren't apart much before then, except when he was at work. So now me and the dog have to figure out what our new routine is going to be. And our new routine may be nothing. <laughs> That's not true. That's not what will happen. But I am, I've got a little quilted thing I'm working on here. My uh, mystery box I got from my viewer had this in it. And I have been working on it today. It tells you, hello, Lynn, how are you tonight? Yeah, still a little froggy sounding, but. Feeling way better than I was last week, for sure. <clears throat> Still a little coffee. Not bad. I don't know where that came from. So I'm working on the tote bag that was the tote bag pattern that was in that box. And um, it gives you the instructions to cut everything to size before you start, blah, blah, blah. I'm cutting them as I go. I'm unfolding the strip laying it down pinning it down and then cutting it off after I get it all sewed on there so that's what I am doing and I've got you guys can see I've got part of it done and the way this works is you fold it in half and it becomes a tote bag so that will be very fun and very interesting and I don't know why but this just intrigued the heck out of my brain. So I decided that's what I was going to do first out of that box. And I've got that Halloween quilt. I'll probably do that um, as a video or on camera. Good night. All right. Let's see if I can get myself over here to sewing machine. Turn you guys a little bit. Yeah, and I was used to that before, Lynn, but it's just really weird to, to be, I, I'm just so used to having him here. I found myself talking to the dog today again. Usually I don't do that. Well, hello, Colleen. Thank you. 
it still feels like I don't sound better, but maybe I do. Trying to sew a little bit here and make sure that I'm not um, pushing the camera. Because of course, when you work in small spaces, And I will say the one thing about this tote bag that I'm not disappointed in, but they have the pattern printed on the backing. See the blue lines? Hey, Nancy. And those are placement lines, not seam lines. But unless you're way better at this than I am, um, my two and a half inch strips are not meeting those placement lines every time. So I'm thinking that, where's my ruler? Uh, I'm not worrying about it too much, but it just uh, struck me as a little weird. Now I'm getting another strip of fabric. and putting it on, but I'm not following the placement lines as much as the pattern says you should be, mostly because <laughs> the fabric doesn't stretch all the way out to those chains. The, the, the placement lines. Hey, Lori, how are you tonight? Nancy, 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 I see you. How are you feeling tonight? How's Terry feeling? And I'm doing this mostly to keep my hands busy, guys. Yes. I am using the tote pattern that I just got in the box. Yes, ma'am. Because when I looked at it, I was like, oh, I want to play with that so bad. So that's what I'm doing. Is I'm going ahead and playing with it. Let me bring it up here in front of the camera and I'll show you guys what I've got going so far. So the way it works is you put in that middle row and that will end up being the middle of your tote bag. And then you start going up the sides. So it's quilt as you go, very much quilt as you go. And you can see right there that I'm off the lines already. But I don't know if that's a me error or if that's just kind of the way it goes. Because if I pull the, even if I pull that way harder than I have been, it still doesn't um, meet up with that line. So I'm just assuming that that is the way it goes and going on to the next stripe. <clears throat> He's feeling a little bit better, Nancy. That's good. I'm glad to hear that. I know that he was a little rough after his treatment the other day. I think you said he had a treatment, not a procedure, right? Hello, Tracy. Tracy at Craft a Simple Life. Yeah, well, I haven't been in almost two weeks since I've been live, Tracy. The uh, COVIDity got my booty. And boy, is that stuff nasty. I talked about it Thursday a whole bunch, so... I won't do that to you guys tonight, but let me tell you what, you can avoid this, avoid it. My doctor had told me to, yeah, they, they are definitely a suggestion, Sherlock, Lori. And the only person who's going to know, hey, Tracy Albert, Tracy, Tracy, Tracy. Um, the only person, people who are going to know are you guys and me. 
And I'm not getting rid of the little pieces of fabric because I found that when I get down to the corner, those little pieces of fabric come in handy. <clears throat> I was trying to wait till it got closer to seven to go live, but because I wanted to, you know, see what was up with hubby, but he's not home yet. Of course, he did start driving home in the middle of a storm, so. And uh, just in case anybody wants to know, I am using a 2.2 stitch length on this because that's the stitch length I like on the Juki. And I am doing just a couple of stitches at the beginning and the end. Not because it says to do it, but just because that's how my brain rolls. He has a treatment every three weeks. Is he having um, chemo or radiation, Nancy, or is it something completely different than all that? I don't know all the ins and outs, but I love the fabrics that are in here. And this camera is not doing them justice. Take my word for it. I will put um, a picture up on my community page for you guys. So you can see how pretty this fabric really is. Yeah, there is glare in my feed and I can't do a whole lot with it um, because this is the only other light I've got in here. And that is way too bright. Makes me look like I'm haunted. Keytruda, is that a shot, Nancy? I've never heard of that one. There's a shock. Oh, I think we must have. I think there must be a daddy home because the dog just jumped up to go to the door. There was a problem with my server. They put it in with IV. Mm. Poor Terry. I feel for him on that one. And the reason I saved the little tiny pieces is because see like right here, there's just a little corner left. And I'm just gonna use one of those little tiny pieces to cover that corner. So what did I miss while I was down from YouTube? Anything good, wonderful, funny? I did watch quite a, quite a bit of YouTube from different people. But I didn't watch anything hugely specific. All right, so I have, that's one of the sides. And the way it'll look when it's all done, I can find the, there we go. This is how that will go up. So you'll get these sideways stripes and then the ones going across the bottom. And I have already put a fabric on the inside. That box had everything I, I in it. I needed to make this and probably a couple of dozen Halloween quilts. Lynn, we appreciate you being here at all. I'm sorry that you're not sleeping well tonight. Okay. And then this is my charm pack that came. And I'm just having too much fun with all these colors. That is a red, a brick red and a, and a red red on there. And I'm trying to use the really bright colors um, at the bottom of where it goes across here. <laughs> 
that's where this came from is right out of that Happy Meal video there. And I really appreciate the viewer who said this stuff to me. Now, this is the one um, I'm starting the next strip. I'm going to make sure it goes all the way out to the edge. And I'm going to pin it down because the way the side strips are sewed on, see how the ends of them aren't even? But they go over the blue line. And I'm running um, this next strip across that blue line that's on there. So I'm pinning it in place so it doesn't move while I'm sewing. <clears throat> Still a little bit of a froggy. One of my cousins was messaged me and was kind of laughing about the hillbilly frog. She says, you don't sound hillbilly to me. I said, well, I'm sorry. So I definitely sound hillbilly to everybody else. She was just picking on me. She's one of the ones that when I talk to her on the phone, I end up sounding even more country than I do on a normal basis. And I saw a girl today, Facebook Reels, Appalachian Foraging. I don't know if any of y'all have ever seen her. Oh, my goodness. I could have watched all of her Reels because she definitely sounds like she came from where I came from. I don't know, Mosquito, maybe because I am in a dungeon. Didn't know what you were getting into, huh? It's actually because it's a little later in the evening and I am working in my living room instead of in my sewing room. Hey, Kelly. I don't ever... I don't ever sleep well either. It does have something to do with age, Lynn. It really does. They just keep trying, don't they, girls? It's like, really? Go harass yourselves. Not paranoia if they're still doing it. You would think they'd have other things to do by this point. Or maybe it's just, you know, kids who should probably be doing their homework instead of messing with people on YouTube. I don't know. Hmm. Kelly, that's why I haven't sewn anything in the last couple of weeks. Because that COVID just wiped me out. And I was going to sew in my sewing room tonight, but I was like, yeah, okay. Just isn't going to happen. Mostly because Wayne's not here and I can't see me going into uh, the back of the house, which is where my sewing room is. I like being able to see out on the road, especially since we've had a lot of traffic today. Oh, yeah, I can't take naps very often either, Lynn, because I do the same thing. I take a nap and then I'm like wide awake for the next Hours and hours. Let's see. Is that long enough? Nope. Pulling out the pieces that I've already used. I don't know that I'm so fast at making this bag, but I'm fascinated by it. I think it was you that said that, Sherlock. So I had to play with it because I'm like, 
what is the big deal about putting it on, breaking it on batting? I think that's my thing. Oh, Kelly, I hope it is just a cold. Because I'm sorry, this stuff is, the crud I just had is nasty. And yeah, I will feel better in Wayne's home. Now, we both did jobs where we drove long distances every day before the pandemic, never really thought a whole lot about it. But now I'm like, oh, that's a long drive. I worry. Of course, I think we're all like that, right? Yeah, I am just playing with it, Lori. And like I said, I think it's coming out really well. It's really pretty. I really, really, really appreciate the viewer who sent it to me. And we will, we will survive this. And I'm just having fun. Did Mosquito come back? Wonder if they're from Florida with a name like that. What do you guys think? Some Florida child. Me. Got a ton of them. Kelly, you know, those are the symptoms. Oh, okay. Those are the symptoms that they said um, that COVID causes fever, sore throat, runny nose, et cetera. I never had a fever. I never had a sore throat. I had a cough like you wouldn't believe, but the fever and sore throat never visited me. But I did get lucky. I called my doctor and I was like, positive? Oh, okay. Thank you, Colleen. I appreciate that. I just didn't know if they'd had the nerve to come back in. I was like, really? Um, I'm going to cut this one because it's way longer than I need for that section. You got to go get some water. Okay, Lynn. I definitely appreciate you being here, especially knowing how late it is. And I'm probably going to uh, look at moving to somewhat sometime earlier in the day or Mondays. Um, I may go to, I don't know, or maybe Tuesdays. Mondays are really booked at this point, guys. <laughs> when I first started doing Mondays, there was like nobody on a Mondays. So I may have to look at another day of the week and see. Um, or just go to the one live a week on Thursday. But I kind of like doing two because I feel like I can do a whatever kind of project during one. And then on the second one, um, uh, then on the second live, I can do something planned, if that makes sense. I need something light over here. And I had saved the light piece for it. So let's put that on. So you did a test and you're negative. That's good, Kelly. I, like I said, I wouldn't wish this stuff on my absolute worst enemy. Stuff was nasty. I heard that there was a retreat that a couple of people caught it at. And I just was like, oh, I feel so sorry for them. Because that, it's not pleasant. It's 
thought I had a piece. Uh oh, there it is. <laughs> Which way did I go? Anyway, I heard that some people caught it at a retreat, and I feel sorry for them too. It's just nasty stuff. And a summer virus that's separate from the big bad sea. I'll be done selling this in just a second. I've got one more piece to put on. And then I can show you guys all of it. It's not done by any means, but. All the pieces are sewn on. And I did something on this pattern different than what they said to do. The pattern says that you're supposed to like glue baste all of the backing onto the batting. And I pen basted mine. And then I went around the outside of the bag and I don't know if you guys can see that, but I sewed around the outside edge of the bag so that the batting would be attached to the bat backing. User in Oklahoma. Amber alert. Um, I had COVID. Not going to play with the name of it. I had COVID and uh, it's still real and it's still coming around. Hey, Don, how are you tonight? All right. So now that didn't even make a real dent in that charm pack, guys. Yeah. Guess it must be the night for all the kids to be out playing. Hopefully they'll all get tired pretty soon and go to bed. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut out along that edge. And I could probably do this with a ruler and a rotary cutter, but... I don't have either one of those close. I moved a lot of stuff around. User in Oklahoma. Ah. You would think. People with brand new babies wouldn't have time to troll others, right? I mean, I would think so, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm Y'all are just a bunch of creeps. Dawn, dawn, dawn. Have you hit a thousand yet? I looked this morning, but I didn't, rem I didn't remember it. Or I don't remember if you had. And that's because I have no memory left. COVID took all my memory. No, it didn't really. It just made it so it's hard for me to remember things that I saw earlier. Usually I can remember stuff if I've seen it recently. That's how I learn is visually, but nine forty nine. That's still pretty close. I'm waiting, Don. Your socialites quilt turned out gorgeous. 
I think I watched that video 10 times myself. It's called a foggy brain. I, Nancy, that's exactly what I've got right now is a foggy brain. The uh, Oh, that's what I was starting to say earlier. I didn't get the um, sore throat and the fever, but boy, the hot flashes, folks, the hot flashes were for real. I was messaging a couple of my girlfriends going, hello? When did this become a symptom? Hey, Ellen, how are you tonight? And I was asking Miss Ellen questions on Thursday. So, yeah, but this bag, well, all I'm doing right now is I'm using my scissors to cut around like about a quarter inch outside that outside sewing line. The um, actual pattern has you hemming and sewing the seams a half inch inside that outside sewing line. Did that just make sense to you guys? I hope so. Oh. Yeah, I think I tagged that one perfectly. It's all she's got to do is sit around and create new names and play troll. That's pretty sad. Yeah. Your social lights looks gorgeous from where I saw it, which is from this side of your camera. All right, lay down there. All right, so. I have cut it out. And what I do next, according to the pattern, is I'm going to meet the two top edges. And then I'm going to sew down the side seam but I'm not going to sew the square right there. And once I get the side seam sewn, then I square up the bottom there. Hubby, had you Google something? Yeah, isn't it pretty, Nancy? I love these colors. And like I said, this is not showing them well. Let me see. I know this light is super bright and I'm sorry, but let's see if it gives you, oh yeah, a much better visual on those colors. That's way closer to what they actually are. They're not muddy, they're bright red and green. And this is a dark brown with coffee beans in it. Some of you guys may know that I'm a, a, yeah, I do have great mods. I definitely do have great mods. Thank you. <clears throat> and I'm going to unplug. Do you guys want me to leave that plugged in? Oh, yeah, those squares are way easier for boxed corners. Thank you, Tracy. Those squares are way easier for the boxed corners. Um. And I put this together, I mean, I started working on this. Let me get back over here where I'm on camera. <laughs> Instead of <laughs> often never, never land. Oh, thank you so much, Kitty. I'm glad that you're wasting so much time on me tonight. 
I really am. I mean, you could be doing your own live or actually talking to your husband or your children, but instead you're wasting time on me. Have a wonderful night. I'm glad that you're here. Um, this is a pattern. It's the Alexander tote bag pattern from Quilt As You Go. And the finish size of it is 15 by 14 by four. So I'm thinking that, um, well, this is about how big it'll be. I mean, by the time you box the corners, you'll lose some at the end, but it'll still be a good size tote bag. Um, Wayne probably won't use it, but I probably will. I'm hoping. Uh, yeah, that is what it looks like when mods do their job and do it well. Thank you very much. Um, but I'm probably going to end up using the tote bag when I start running errands and stuff again. Because that's the um, idea now that Wayne is working out of the house again. Yeah, it's a great size, I think. No package. Oh, I got my cotton cuts. Someone asked me about it earlier. I guess Florida, this is clue six. Florida Farm Bureau. Oh, that's probably telling us to call them. Um, so I'm live. And we have a troll attack going tonight. Are I'm you? just laughing at it. Oh, no, this is a renewal for our uh, uh, Farm Bureau membership. Oh, okay. That's fine. Ooh, cotton guts. The next clue. This is it. this is the first time I've gotten it before the Saturday when we're supposed to do it. So I hope it's the six, the number six one. Now, Sherlock, I in case you guys have never heard me say this, my moderators are great. I appreciate all the work they do. We've trained Sherlock in our own image, you know, Colleen and Tracy and I have. And um, you guys do a great job. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And I'm not going to let the trolls run me off. Not off YouTube. Not off my own channel. You guys want to keep it up? Yeah, isn't it funny there, Dawn? And I'm betting I know who it is. So, like I said, she needs to go take care of her baby. Yeah, I think this one would work great with it. Wayne, did you have a good day? That was a pretty good day. Yeah. yeah. It, was kind of crazy. it was kind of crazy, but you know, brand, you know, brand new day, whatever. Yeah. Chicken lips is what my stepdad used to call me. Thank you. That's a compliment. <laughs> I need to take that. Yeah. Just throw it in. I just got mine. I'm actually surprised. Um. Nancy, you can only block one username at a time. I have the original chatter's names blocked. You know, like I said, I'm pretty sure I know who's doing it. And they're, the moderators are blocking them as fast as they make the comments. So that's fine. I appreciate that. And that's what they're supposed to do. If you're going to act like a 12-year-old, you're supposed to get treated like one. And that's what they're doing. So I'm de I'm definitely proud of that. Thank you guys so much. Uh, yeah, Don. Only the creator whose channel it is can see someone after they're blocked. Like I can go look at the deleted message. Oh, yes, Colleen. Chicken Lips loves you too. I love it. You're all good. No worries. Yeah. Yeah. These just. <laughs> Here's to you guys. But I appreciate all my viewers, all my loyal fans. And yes, Lynn, these are strips that I got. Matter of fact, the coffee fabric and that um, it was half a jelly roll of Wilmington fabrics. 
I have the little thingy sitting here. Um, I wrote it down. Morning crystals, maybe, was the name of it. Yeah. Um, but both of those came in that box. And then when I pulled that pattern out, I was like, yeah, I need to check this out. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. Yes, definitely. Oh, I'm seeing the little hearts. You're not special, Ed, Colleen. You're just special, just special. Yeah. And Kelly, that's kind of what I was thinking about. That was for running errands or going to the library or whatever. Um, during the pandemic, I got a library card and they changed rules for us. They changed it to Heartland library card. So you can order um they're not audible, like Kindle books. You can order books from any library in the library system um, and read them on your device, on your phone, on your tablet, on your computer. And then they tied Heartland into, I have to make sure I have this right, either Brooklyn or Manhattan, um, wherever the Smithsonian is in New York City. Um, they tied the Heartland Library System into the same library system as the Smithsonian. So you could use your Heartland Library card to look at exhibits at the Smithsonian if they were um, videoed. Ebooks, thank you. Thank you. I had to come up with the, <laughs> I couldn't think of the word. I told you brain fog, guys. But so you could go in and, and explore. The dinosaur exhibits or whatever they had um, as, as pre-recorded videos on the Smithsonian. And the Louvre in Paris did the same thing. I don't know if they kept it on the website after they had their fire over there, but I know that you could look at quite a few of the exhibits there online as well. A lot of museums did that during the pandemic stuff. So yeah, it will be a great bag and I'll finish it in a little bit. I'm uh, about getting ready to wrap up here because my voice is starting to go again on us. I sound uh, froggy again. That's the right word. Right. That, and that's great, Kelly. I appreciate that because it's nice. I mean, my little local county library, you know, might be able to get 50,000 books. I'm just pulling a number out of the air. But when you go to the entire state, being in the Heartland system, that means that anything that they have on ebook, you can touch, you can read. And I think that's awesome. Great for kids. Yes, no more late fees on library books. And we live so far out of town. That's a serious uh, question there, Nancy, on our end here. And I was addicted to, when I was a kid, um, I don't know if anybody else remembers the nurse books for, I think it was called Cherry Ames. There was them and the Bobsy Twins and then Robinson Crusoe books. I read those, like I would borrow one and read it overnight. And then we didn't go back to the library for a week. So I'd have to wait a whole week to get another book in that series. Because you were only allowed to have like one book out at a time from any series. So it's really cool to be able to, you know, like if you're a fast reader, like I used to be, to be able to check out a book, read it, turn it in, check out the next book in the series. Well, what one is in, in New York City? Maybe it wasn't the Smithsonian. Museum of National History. That might be that might be right, Tracy. That might be right. Oh, I love Nancy Drew too. Yeah, that was the other one I was thinking about. 
That was the other one. Yeah, Nancy Drew, Cherry Ames, the Bobsy Twins. There were the Railway Kids. I don't know if that was the name of the series, but I think they lived on a train. And then there was, and it might have only been one book, The Borrowers, where the mice borrowed stuff. Hello, Dorian from Bulgaria. How are you tonight? Where's Bulgaria at? What country is it close to? I have to think about this. It's part of Russia, right? Hungary, Yugoslavia, that area. Um, give it just a minute, Colleen. Good night, Lynn. Have a great night. Get some rest. I think that Dorian commented on a video a while back. So I think, Kelly, you have a great night too, or a great afternoon, because it's not even five o'clock for you, right? Oh, I didn't read the V.C. Andrews ones. I was... I only got into scary books when I was grown. I read Misery from Stephen King, and I've been addicted ever since. Oh, it's near Turkey. <laughs> okay. Shows you where my geography is, or how good my geography isn't. I don't know why you're apologizing, Colleen. You don't owe anybody an apology. Hi, Deb. How are you tonight? That's how I sleep too, Lynn, on my side. I'm working on the um, tote bag pattern out of my bag that I, or my box that I was sent while I was sick. I've got it all the piecing done now i need to sew up the uh sides of it and finish that stuff up eh. yeah vc andrews all the little girls in my classes were like oh we love it and then they talk about it and i was like now that's not for me i didn't even get into now my kids love the goosebump series when those came out I bought more Goosebumps books than I want to count because we had to buy them for one kid. He went through them, and then the next one was four years behind. So when the older son got rid of them, it was like a year and a half before the younger one wanted to read them. She was weird, not scary, huh? I think some of Stephen King's is like that, weird but not scary. Well, Wayne's trying to get his new laptop hooked up to our Wi-Fi, which is fun because the Wi-Fi password is four miles long and tough to guess. I read Rose Matter. Um, the one that got me was, I think it was Insomnia, where these, <laughs> it was really weird. Um, the aliens supposedly come to earth and use gigantic scissors to cut people's lifelines and that's why you die but by the time i got done reading the book i totally believed because stephen king is that good of a storyteller that that's exactly how it comes oh tracy um the tower books are really good and i read I read them as they came out. I think there's seven or eight of the Tower books. So, yeah, they they were interesting. They were interesting. And Miss Ellen's just over there killing it. Rose Matter was... Uh, yeah, Rose Matter was, King is good at real. 
King is very good at making you believe the craziest stuff is real. Misery, you can totally see it happening. Um, did Dorian leave us already? Dorian, what's your native language? Is Bulgarian? I don't know. I watched some people in Azer Azerbaijan. Y'all can laugh at how I say that later. He can definitely mess with the same mind. Um, and I'm learning because they do recipes, they cook and they can and do a whole lot of gardening. Um, but when the lady cooks, they always put what the word they use is on the screen, plus the English translation. I would rather quilt and sew too. I um, We have an Audible subscription and I've got a ton of Audible books that I need to read. So now that Wayne's back working outside the house again, I may start putting my Audible books on whenever I'm sewing again. It's hard to do that whenever he's constantly on the phone on conference calls. And hopefully his new job won't be that crazy. Oh. Okay, I am going to wrap up, guys, and say good night to everybody. Like I said earlier, my voice is starting to go, and I can feel I'm about that far from it just saying, I'm done. So did you guys get everybody's links in, Colleen? You guys did a great job tonight. My moderators are the bomb. You guys, I, I want to say thank you to them. They do this all as a volunteer thing. They don't get paid for being moderators. So I definitely appreciate it when they come in and help keep the chat clean and neat for everybody. So, Tracy, you go for it. I like magical fantasy, the smutty romance. There's some that go a little too far for me. All right, guys. You all have a great night. I appreciate you coming. I'll post a picture on the community tab once I get this all done and let you guys see how it comes out. And the reason I didn't go any further is because the handles are a little bit involved on this. So I've got to cut out a couple different pieces and put them together. And I want to do that where I have time. Hugs to you too, Deb. You all have a great night. Bye-bye. Love you guys.